In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up Nginx on Unraid using Cloudflare. This will allow you to create subdomains for your Dockers very fast and easily directly from Nginx, meaning that you don't have to log in to Cloudflare to set up subdomains. In order to do this, you will need a domain, a static IP address, access to your router, and the ability to forward specific ports, an Unraid server where we are going to install Nginx, a Cloudflare account, and a little bit of patience. So with that said, let's get started. The very first part of this process is to go ahead and claim your domain in Cloudflare. For this, you will need a Cloudflare account. So if you don't have one, go and create one now. Now I have already done this step because when you do this, uh, it does take a couple of hours before everything starts to work. So I have done this in advance, but I have taken a lot of screenshots so I can show you the whole process step by step. Okay, so go ahead, log into your Cloudflare account. And when you are in here, what you want to do is you want to click this big blue button here and then select existing domain. And that will take you to the next page where you will enter in your domain name. And now you have a couple of options. I'm going to show you how to, to do it when you manually enter your DNS records. This will mean, this means that Cloudflare will not import anything from your domain. So this is best if this is a dedicated domain that you're going to use for Unraid or a brand new domain. If you're using an older domain and you already have uh, maybe email or subdomains or something like that set up. You want to do the quick scan for DNS records. This is a little bit more complicated, so I'm not going to walk you through this. Uh, I highly suggest you just go out, get a cheap domain and use that as a dedicated domain for your on-rate server and then go with the manual enter DNS records. This will give you a clean slate to work with. And uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm going to show you. On the next page, it will ask you for the plan. Just select the free one. And then it will ask you again, are you sure you don't want to import your DNS records? Just click continue to activation and click confirm. And now, uh, you, now, now you, the, the setup on Cloudflare is complete. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go to wherever you purchased your domain. And then you want to enter in these domain, um, these name servers. You want to enter them. Uh, there. So I'm using Namecheap and on Namecheap you click domain and then you find name servers. You set this to custom DNS and then we can put in the, the new name servers. It's a little bit, it's always a little bit different, uh, the different places, uh, depending on where you purchased your domain, the, the, the process will be a little bit different, but it's in general, um, somewhat the same right so you want to you want to go to the settings for your domain you want to go to dns settings or name server settings or something like that put in uh, the the new name servers and apply the the next thing you also want to do uh, you want to make sure that dns security is set to off and on namecheap it is off by default but i would find it under advanced dns there is a toggle in there uh, but it is off as default. Again, uh, if you're using GoDaddy or, or something like that, uh, go into may maybe the advanced settings or advanced DNS settings or, or something like that and find that DNS SEC setting and just make sure it's turned off. At this point, uh, in my case here, Namecheap will inform all the domain name servers around the world that from now on, when someone comes to this domain, they should not go to Namecheap, but they should go to Cloudflare. This process takes a couple of hours, uh, two to three hours typically, and uh, there's nothing you can really do to, to you just have to wait. Uh, I typically open up this, this one here, DNS checker, put in my domain, uh, check the refresh button there, and then hit search. And this will tell me uh, what, what what IP addresses uh, currently the domain is pointing to. This is the domain uh, Namecheap, Namecheap's IP address. And after a couple of hours, it looked like this, and you can see that it has changed now, right? So these are the Cloudflare IP addresses. When this happens, uh, you're ready to you're ready for the next step, which I will show you right now. 
Once the name servers all around the world has been updated, we are ready for the next step, step two, which is to set up an A and C name records over on Cloudflare. Now to do this, you will need to have your IP address handy. Uh, you can get that from logging into your router. It's typically there somewhere. You can also just go to Google, search for what is my IP address. Or if everything else fails, you can contact your ISP and they can provide it for you. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Cloudflare. And on Cloudflare, you want to make sure you are on the correct domain here. And then select DNS in the sidebar, which will take you to records. And here we're going to add two records. The first one is an A record. And for the name, you want to copy your domain name and put that in. And then you want to put in your IP address here. And just a quick note, your IP address is a very sensitive piece of information. So don't share it with anyone. I am actually using a dummy IP address here for this demonstration. This is a Namecheap's uh, uh, IP address, but obviously you want to use your own correct one. But yeah, go ahead and save that. And then we are going to add a CNAME record. And for the name, you want to put in a star. And then for the target, once again, copy your domain name and put it in here and then hit save. So what is happening here is that we are telling Cloudflare that then whenever someone comes to this domain, they should be redirected to this IP address, your IP address. And then we are telling Cloudflare that whenever someone comes to a subdomain, any subdomain, because we're using a star, they should also be redirected to whatever this goes to, which is your IP address. So that's how that works. And this means that when we are going to set up the actual subdomains, we can do it all from the server. We don't have to do it from in here. Uh, we are still going to do a quick thing on Cloudflare. So, uh, so let's go ahead and do that next. Step number three is to create an SSL token on Cloudflare. And to do that, go to your Cloudflare account, click profile up here and click profile again, and then click API tokens and then click create token. And here you want to select the edit zone DNS, the first one. And the only thing you want to change here is the zone resources. So you want to uh, select your domain here, like so. And then you just want to click continue to summary and then create token. And you either leave this window open or copy this and save it in a notepad somewhere. We are going to use this token here in a second when we, uh, when we set everything up over on, uh, on the Unraid server. Step number four is to go to your router and open the ports for HTTP and HTTPS. This is again one of the steps where it really depends on your setup, uh, what type of router you have and, and stuff like that. But what you want to do is you want to find the place on your router where you can uh, open the ports. On my ASUS router, it is on the VAN settings here and then virtual server port forwarding. And you want to open two ports. The, the one for you want to open one for HTTPS and one for HTTP. It's important that the external ports should be uh, 443 for HTTPS and 80 for HTTP. The internal ports, I, be, I as far as I know, you can do whatever you want here, um, or you can just copy the ones that that I've I've used. But yeah, so you, you want to make sure you enable incoming traffic um, for these ports and you send it to these internal ports. And for the internal IP address, this is the IP address of your Unraid server. So whatever that is, right? And that is basically it. Uh, again, this, this really depends on your setup. And, and obviously, I cannot cover every single router in the world. So you might have to do some uh, some research on how to open ports on your specific router if needed but uh, but anyways th this is what you what you want to end up with something like this the next step is to install nginx on your unraid server and set up the ports to be the same as on your router so log into unraid go to apps search for nginx and uh, find find a, uh, a Docker image that you want to use. I'm using this uh, official one here, 
But uh, yeah, go ahead and install Nginx. And in the settings, what you want to do is you want to make sure that the ports here are set to be exactly the same as on your router. So by default, they will look like this. And this is not what you want. Uh, you want them to look like this. So what happens here is that when Cloudflare is sending traffic to you, it will send, for example, HTTPS traffic. It will send via port 443. Then your router will take that traffic and send it to your server via this port, the internal port that you set. And the internal port here, in this case 9443, uh, 9, should be the same uh, in here in Nginx, the Nginx setup. Okay, so this is very important. If you if you uh, if you don't do this, it will not work. Uh, so the internal port here should be the same as in the settings for Nginx. I hope that is clear. Another thing you want to do uh, before you install it is you want to take note of the uh, of the uh, default login and the default password here. This is what you're going to use when you enter the web UI for the first time. So at this point, you can just hit apply and you can install it. And that is it for this step. Next, we will create a wildcard SSL certificate on Nginx. And to do that, open up the web UI for Nginx here and then click SSL certificates. Click Add SSL Certificate and select Let's Encrypt. And now for the domain name, you want to put in a star, a period, and then your domain uh, URL here, and then click Add. So it should look like this. Uh, then you want to select Use a DNS Challenge, and you want to select Cloudflare. And this is where we are going to use that token that we created earlier. Now, I just want to show you something. Just in case you did like I just did and closed the window before you copy, copied it, what you can do is you can click down here and then roll. And this basically will delete the old token and create a new one. And then you will get back to this page. So I'm just going to copy the API token. Uh, this is again uh, sensitive information, so don't share that, or at least, you know, roll the token after you have shared it like I am just doing here. Um, but yeah, so you put in the token here, and then you agree to everything, and then you save it. And it's actually as simple as that. Um, so yeah, with that, we can move on to the next step. So finally, now all the hard work is done and we are ready to go and create these subdomains so we can access our Docker containers from outside our own network. So let me just show you how to do that. So I have this uh, Docker here. This is a speed test and I think it would be kind of fun to be able to access this when I am out and about. So let's create a subdomain that points to this Docker so I can access it from my phone or whatever. Uh, what we need here is the uh, internal IP address to your server, uh, and then we need the port. So in this case, the port is just 3333, so that's easy enough to remember. So to create a new subdomain, click on proxy hosts, and then you click up here, add proxy host, and then you simply just want to put in the, um, you want to put in the domain name. So I'm just going to copy my super long domain name again here. And then I will put in, let's call it speed dot, and then my custom domain. So click add again. And the host name or the IP address here is simply the IP address to your server. So in my case, it's uh, this one here. And then the port was this 3333. Uh, then we have some settings here. Uh, typically, this is what I, I typically uh, select all of these. Uh, unless I have a reason not to. And in the um, in the custom locations, you don't need to do anything in SSL certificate. We need to select the certificate we just made. So this one here for my custom domain. I'm going to force SSL and use HTTP2 support uh, and then save it. Uh, sometimes you will need to use STS, uh, S -S -H -S -T -S, um and uh, and sometimes you will need to play around with these settings, but uh, but in most cases, this will do. 
So now it has created the subdomain. And if I go down here and I find it, uh, it should take us to the Docker, as you can see. Uh, this will uh, open up the domain. Uh, you can also try to do this on your phone over cellular uh, data or something like that if you if you want to test it from outside your network. But but uh, but it, it basically works now. Um, you can see that the connection is secure. It is uh, HTTPS, and uh, everything looks good. So let's just see if it works here, and it seems to work. So the way we have set this up now. We're using a wildcard in the DNS settings here on Cloudflare, and we used a wildcard for the SSL certificate. That means that we can simply just go in and add subdomains, and we don't need to go back to Cloudflare and add uh, new uh, subdomains in there or anything like that. We can manage everything from the proxy manager here. So this is uh, this is a great way to do it. At the end here, I just want to say that I hope this video was easy to follow and easy to understand. If you have any issues or any suggestions, uh, please let me know. And if nothing else, then I hope to see you sometime in the future in a different video. Bye-bye.